much for that introduction. Really, really happy to be here. Uh, like you said, I am here representing SolidBlock, which is a company that specializes in sort of connecting digital assets in the digital world with real assets and, and the world of reality. And so I, I do have to warn you, we're gonna start off with this conversation talking primarily about NFTs. And I know that all of you are here to talk about the metaverse. So I promise that we'll get there. The way I NFTs are a really, really good starting point when having conversations about the metaverse because oftentimes they act as your keys, your tokens and your gateways into this entire uh, amazing new metaverse community. So that's sort of where we're going right now. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, SolidBlock specializes in, in taking digital and real assets and connecting them with, with uh, virtual and, and uh, really that digital, type of, that digital type of experience. And so we first started off with real estate tokenization. We tokenized this Aspen St. Regis Resort in 2018 and have since really worked in the hospitality industry to connect the hospitality people with the Web3 people and really uh, advance those experiences within the hospitality realm. So what we're focused on today is really creating your own digital assets to give your members, your hospitality customers, a, a better or, or more active experience. And so when you connect these two communities, the hospitality community and the Web3 community, what you're able to do is better sell to customers from around the world, better create that brand awareness loyalty, the engagement, and you're also able to improve the things that you sell upon, right? When you think about the hospitality industry right now, it's really, really based off of community and an offer of, re an offer of rewards. That's why you have a Marriott credit card and all of these different uh, loyalty points from various different hotel chains. And the Web3 space is also built around those same community principles. And so combining the two is a very uh, natural experience for all parties involved. So what we've done is we've been able to turn nights like hotel stays into crypto NFTs. So most recently, SolidBlock was responsible for the US's first hospitality-based NFT. When we turned uh, hotel stays at the Nomo Soho Hotel in New York City into an NFT. So the Nomo Soho Hotel minted its own NFTs. All of that was facilitated by SolidBlock. Now you can go on uh, the Solid Spaces website or OpenSea or another type of um, another type of marketplace, and you can actually buy those stays uh, at that hotel with your crypto. Okay, so for the hotel itself, again, it's a new way to create revenue. It's a new way to increase your occupancy, and it's a new way to enhance brand loyalty because it allows you to offer a, a more tight knit community, better experiences than you would be able to on the typical web two platforms. Uh -oh, let's see if, ah, there we go. Ooh, had a scare there that I wouldn't go. Um, so continuing on that, NFTs is a really, really large market, as is hospitality. Right now, the NFT market sits around $25 billion, and about 10 to $20 million worth of NFTs are sold on the blockchain each week. So it's a really, really big space that these hospitality uh, players are getting into. And when I say hospitality, I mean like hotels, resorts, things like that. And what we really want to focus on is sort of those luxury hospitality spaces, those upper ends of resorts and hotels, because those are the ones who are really, really focused on offering their customers the highest level of experience possible. So, you know, you're, you're very, at least in the near future, you're very unlikely to see your budget hotels offering these NFTs, but you might see those upper echelon, those five, four or five star hotels offering NFTs because it's a way for them to engage with you at a much higher level and offer you a much higher level of service. So we've been talking a lot theoretically. This is theoretically what blockchain and Web3 and NFTs can do for, for hospitalities, but very much so this is happening in the real world right now, not only within specific use cases like the Nomo Soho Hotel, but also it's something that the hospitality industry in general is aware of. So for example, like the VP of Marriott, one of the largest hotel chains in the entire world says that in 2022, we'll aim to continue building a presence within the metaverse where it aligns their branded marketing goals. So the metaverse and, and getting involved with Web3 in general is very, very much on the minds 
of, of all of these executives because they understand, again, it's a very, very natural next step in connecting the hospitality industry with the customers, with the experiences of the future. So I realized I skipped over sort of what the hospitality NFT is in general. I imagine because all of you are here, most of you are relatively familiar with the metaverse. And I hope that most of you are relatively familiar with NFTs. NFT is a non-fungible token. Think of it as a digital token that in this case will grant you access to specific things. And so the hotel creates an exclusive collection of NFTs. All of this stuff is on the blockchain. We use the Ethereum blockchain uh, for, for all of our NFTs. And you know we're, we're big advocates of Ethereum for, for that respective. And what it allows you to do is unlock access to real world and metaverse hospitality experiences. So if you're familiar with NFTs, you're most likely familiar with projects like the Board Ape Yacht Club or Mutant Apes or something like that, where the artwork is very, very important and it'll gain, get you access to, to a few different things. All of that is great. But what we started to see in the industry is sort of a transformation into what's called utility-based NFTs. So people now are no longer looking to buy NFTs simply so that they can have it on the blockchain and, and have it as their profile picture on Twitter, right? They're looking to gain real world value out of the NFTs that they buy. And so that's where utility NFTs come in the picture, specifically within the hospitality industry, because again, it's connecting that digital asset that you own with a very real world tangible uh, whenever you want. And so again, you're able to attract global buyers. You're able to increase your occupancy, which is like the number one metric for every single, uh, for every single hospitality venue. You're able to increase your brand loyalty, your brand awareness, offer accelerated services, and you're able to unlock new opportunities, right? Very, very few people right now in the hospitality space are even considering experience in experience in the metaverse. And so they're going to be really able to level up uh, what they're able to give their customers. So how does it work from the hotel side of things? If you are someone who's in the hospitality industry, if you know someone who's in the hospitality industry, this is the exact sort of process that they would follow when interacting with SolidBlock within the Solid Spaces program, which is where we're creating these hospitality NFTs. So you would create a unique series of NFT, a unique collection, and you would upload a JPEG. This can be anything from, you know, a picture of your resort to, to art that's created by someone in your community. We not only want to make these things utility-based, but it's also nice to make the NFTs beautiful as well, just because it's helpful in, in the marketing and the sale, as, as you guys probably know. You're also going to select the number of buyers of NFTs to be minted. Part of sort of bridging the gap between the digital space and the real world is that we need to understand that there are real, real world restrictions. For example, a resort only has a certain amount of rooms. A hotel only has a certain amount of occupants that it can have uh, at a given event. And so we need to be very cognizant of that. Next, choose the number of nights per year. We really want to, and as, as I go through this, I want to think about this, is that we really want to be able to fully customize the NFTs to what the hospitality uh, organization is looking for. So that means everything from customizing how many NFTs are there to how many nights per year to the number of years this NFT could be active, et cetera, et cetera. So again, giving that hospitality uh, organization the full control in what they're doing also is just an, an, added, an added incentive, excuse me, to, to, to buying into sort of the, the NFT metaverse sort of play within the hospitality area. So what does the buyer get? I think for me that this is, this is most intriguing because when I first heard about this idea, I was like, okay, what's stopping me from going on Nomo Soho's website right now or any other hotel's website and just buying three nights as everyone has done for, for uh, you know, the last 10 years. That's, that's how the system works. It's not broken. Why do we fix it? The reason that we're getting into this is because we're able to offer customers an additional level of not only utility in terms of what the hotel can give them, but also in terms of flexibility. Here's what I mean by that. So, you know, here's a list of all of these different services that hotels can offer with these NFTs. Of course, this is just adding to, to the benefit. And like I mentioned, we're working with a little bit more luxury brands who really want to go above and beyond to serve their clients. But there's one thing in here that I, I really, really want to focus on, and that's the selling side of it. 
Imagine that you're going on a vacation, that you book a, a three-day stay at a resort on a tropical island. If something like, I don't know, a global pandemic happens and you need to cancel those nights, what you can do is instead of canceling it and getting your money back, maybe what you're able to do is actually sell this on the blockchain for someone else to redeem that night stay or whatever whatever amenities you have there. So for example, if you know if you're going to a conference and something gets canceled, you can sell your stay to someone else who might be going to that conference. They can take all of those benefits that you want and you receive all that. Additionally, and what I find to be most exciting is let's say you buy uh, you know, a Nomo Soho NFT for ETH New York, which is happening this weekend. And you can no longer go to ETH New York. When you buy it, you may have bought it at one ETH or whatever it may be. But now, because someone who's in a pinch is looking to go to a conference that's been hyped up a lot, or people are looking forward to going to this conference, your stays may be worth more to that person. So it's possible to even make a profit off of the hotel stays that you booked. And so again, that's just some, some inherent value that the NFTs provide. And of course, Web3 and blockchain marketplaces are already providing the infrastructure that you can use to, to sell and swap these. But for me, that's some of the most exciting uh, perks of having sort of this hospitality-based NFT. Listing sites, like I mentioned, NFT stays, which is sort of the, the brand that we're working with under Solid Block. Uh, will be providing a lot of these NFTs, but they're NFTs. They're on an open source blockchain. You can use these NFTs and you can sell them or swap them on OpenSea or, or any other number of, of websites that enable this type of functions with NFTs. Very, very flexible for, for the buyer as well. So why, are you, why you are all here, the metaverse, this is the play that we're talking about. You got to see in the last presentation some really, really beautiful art. Uh, that came along with the metaverse. So what I want you to imagine now was that Marriott or Nomo Soho or something like this adopted that type of experience, adopted a fully immersive metaverse with, with beautiful surroundings that you can go in there and interact. So the NFT can act as a key, can act as something to open the gate into that metaverse. The NFT that you bought from Nomo Soho to get your physical stay there can also unlock a variety of different metaverse experiences that Nomo Soho puts on. So we talked a lot about, you know, how do we take this hospitality experience and improve upon it for the people who are staying at the hotel? The metaverse is how we do that. And so these hotels are really, really eager to improve upon their experience. So what they're doing as we speak is building out these different metaverse experiences for their for their customers. And this can be anything from like, okay, we want to go to a concert that's hosted at the hotel. Maybe, you know, our favorite DJ is there to, you know, we want to go in and maybe the gift shop of the hotel is there. This is how you, you know, you order your room service. The, the opportunities within the metaverse connected to the hospitality space are really, really endless. And that's something that makes me personally very excited. So this is something that is being launched now, something that's in practice now, something that uh, large hospitality firms are focused on building. So I would not be surprised if you see stuff like this popping up in the next year or two. So keep your eyes open for that. Um, I know that I just threw a lot of information at you very, very quickly. I'm a fast talker. I'm excited about this stuff. So I apologize for that. Um, but here's my contact information. You can reach out to me at Dante at CO. Uh, my Twitter and my Telegram are at Dante Remnick. I am always very, very happy to have a conversation with anyone who is building in the space. You know, in addition to working at SolidBlock, I also invest in the Web3 space. I'm building a project of my own. Very active in it. So very happy to talk to, to anyone who wants to exchange ideas, wants to talk about the NFC Stays program. Um, you can reach out to me and, and uh, we'll get something set up. So thank you so much for your time. And I haven't checked the chat, but if you have any questions, I'd be